Hello, I'm Harry. Harry Styles is one of the biggest British pop stars as well as one of the richest trailing just behind Ed Sheeran. Recently, he was spotted vacationing with Adele who's almost unrecognizable but still looks great. Before you get excited about a new couple, the two have been friends for a year so I wouldn't make any assumptions. At the time of this recording, Harry is 25 years old and another thing the public has been making assumptions about lately is his sexuality. I guess laying low for a while and then coming back with some new music and wearing dresses or pearl earrings from time to time kind of threw fans off. When you strip people down to basic human instinct, I think you get a lot of truth and a lot of natural reactions from people. In an interview with The Guardian addressing whether he's bisexual or not, he said, It's not a case of I'm not telling you because I don't want to tell you. It's not, ooh, this is mine and it's not yours. It's who cares. Does that make sense? It's just who cares. So I guess that's all we know at the moment, but Harry has been rocking some cute nail polish. Harry has come a long way since being discovered on The X Factor back in 2010 and being in the boy band which brought him fame One Direction. Now he has over 25 million followers on Instagram and he's a singer, songwriter and actor. As you probably know, Harry's been a solo artist for some time now and his second album, Fine Line, released in 2019, actually broke the record of biggest sales debut from an English male artist in the US. And like I mentioned, Harry is one of the richest British pop stars at the moment. His estimated net worth is around $75 million. That being said, today we won't be talking about Harry's sexuality, personal life, or any of that. Instead, we're going to focus on the properties Harry spends all that money on. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing a house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to see the places that Harry Styles calls home, including the house he sold in LA, his mansions in London, and give you all the details we can find. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Taylor Swift and Lady Gaga and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First off, just to get an idea, Harry's childhood home is located in Holmes Chapel, Cheshire in England. Looks like a nice but humble house. We also know he still goes back to visit his hometown pretty often, even up until this day. Now Harry still resides in England but in London, we'll show you where in just a bit. Harry also tried West Coast living for a while and gave into Hollywood but that didn't last too long before he returned to his roots. Harry purchased a gorgeous home in early 2016 and flipped it back on the market just a year later. The mansion was located in the Hollywood Hills in what was called the most prime section above the Sunset Strip. Even though he listed the home for almost 8.5 million, he couldn't sell it for that price despite the renos he put into it. Harry lowered the price but it didn't end up selling until 2019 and by that time it was just over 6.2 million, so he was at a loss. I'm surprised that Harry couldn't turn more of a profit on this place because it looked picture perfect. His Hollywood mansion was 4,401 square feet and had 4 beds and 6 baths. Some features of Harry's Hollywood home included a penthouse level master suite, a home movie theater, a fitness center, chef's kitchen, floor to ceiling windows in the living and dining area and more. Of course the property was fully gated offering a ton of privacy yet still amazing views of LA. Outside Harry's home there were a few terraces, one being on the roof with a fire pit as well as a beautiful pool and spa. Aside from that Hollywood Hills home, Harry owned some other US real estate. Far far away from LA, Harry owned a penthouse in New York City. A few years back in 2017, it was reported that Harry quietly bought a unit at the celebrity loved 443 Greenwich Street building. This building is in the Tribeca neighborhood of NYC and celebs like Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel, Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds as well as Jennifer Lawrence also own apartments there. I'm pretty sure this was also the building that The Weeknd and Bella Hadid lived in when they were together in the Big Apple. Anyways, Harry bought this place for around 8.35 million and it has 3 bedrooms, 3.5 bathrooms and spans just under 3,000 square feet. The building offers a ton of great features aside from the views of NYC like a gorgeous pool and extra security and privacy away from the paparazzi. Looking at the listing pics of Harry's NYC penthouse, you can see that there are finishes like exposed beams and aged brass fixtures which are very Tribeca. 
I'm not sure how often Harry even stays in New York, but at least when he does, he has a gorgeous penthouse to call home. And it's just a few blocks away from his ex Taylor. So now let's look at Harry's real estate in his homeland of England. Back in 2012, Harry reportedly purchased his first London bachelor pad, which he still owns as far as we know, and back then, they called it Harry's Party Palace. At the time, Harry was still a teen, so it must have been super exciting for him to have a big house all for himself. The star paid almost 5 million US dollars for the large home located in the North London area of Hampstead Heath, which at the time was a half urban neighborhood. Harry's first London property clocks in at 2,300 square feet and has four beds and three baths, which are spread across three floors. There haven't been many photos of the place since Harry moved in, but it was his first house purchase on his own. Prior to this London home, Harry and his former One Direction bandmates were apparently renting a five-level unit at the Princess Park Manor. I guess Harry was ready for his own space by then. Another property Harry is said to own in London is a slight upgrade from his first purchase. In 2016, sources said that Harry had bought himself a pretty expensive birthday present, a penthouse in one of England's more lavish development buildings. The Battersea Power Station is a redesigned and repurposed electricity plant, and of course the condos they created in the building are one of a kind. It's located right on the River Thames, so of course Harry has some gorgeous waterfront views. The Battersea buildings all have access to a private garden that resembles a London square, and each singular home has their own winter garden or terrace as well. We don't know many details about Harry's penthouse, but we do know that he paid an estimated 28 million for the place, so you can guess that it's huge. So if you think that with a 28 million dollar London penthouse under his belt that Harry wouldn't need another place, you'd be wrong. In recent news, Harry's updated his London real estate portfolio yet again, dropping almost 10.5 million US on a Georgian style semi home. This pad is definitely mansion sized, complete with five bedrooms and plenty of space. This latest investment does look slightly outdated from the listing photos, but I'm sure Harry plans on remodeling the home to fit his taste like he's done in the past. At the moment, the furnishings are Liberace inspired, and many of the rooms give out a homely vibe. Harry's new London mansion has a white stucco design, and the previous owners decorated much of the interior in a faux Regency style with a ton of chandeliers and similar dramatic fixings. The grand sitting room, which we'd probably just call the living room, offers floor to ceiling windows and leads into the large dining room. You'll also see the curved staircase which takes you to all of the first floor bedrooms in the home. Harry's new multi-million dollar London home seems bigger and more mature than his first house or the party pad, which he still owns. However, the houses are reportedly close in distance, so I'm guessing Harry's a fan of the neighborhood. Some other features of Harry's new London mansion include a home movie theater and games room in the basement. Outside there's a big garage for all of his cars, as well as completely private outdoor parking. Hopefully once Harry redesigns the place a little bit more in his style, we'll be able to get a better glimpse at it, because from some of those online photos, it looks like a grandma's house. So unfortunately, there aren't more pictures I could find of Mr. Styles' homes, especially for his new one in London. Although Harry hasn't always had the best luck in real estate, considering he lost a couple million selling his LA house, he still made some good investments. I guess Harry doesn't like Hollywood as much as some other celebs because despite the gorgeous house he owned there, he didn't live in it very long. Most of his homes that we know about remain in England, and he still loves to go back to his hometown too. As far as we know, Harry owns a luxury penthouse in NYC, while the rest of his spots are in London. I would assume he's been staying at his latest $10 million London mansion he bought last year, since I also heard he rents out his original home from time to time. After seeing a little bit of each of Harry's property, which one was your fave? From what I've seen, his Hollywood Hills home was the most my style, and I'm sure his new London mansion is beautiful too. Okay guys, now I'll be reading some comments out from previous videos. On our Cardi B and Offset updated house tour we did for their new mansion in Atlanta, T said, Oh my lord Cardi, this is gorgeous. I agree T, I feel like it's a mansion fit for a king and queen. Finally, they found a place that they love. Someone also commented saying we should do a video when it's furnished, and I totally will because I can't wait to see what Cardi will do with the place. On our Lady Gaga house tour, Debbie M said, Thank you for posting. I enjoyed the video. The homes are beautiful. She worked so hard and has natural talent to get where she is today. 
I couldn't agree more, Debbie. Lady Gaga is one of my favorite artists out there, and I love how she isn't afraid to be herself too. And finally, on our Adele before and after vid, Mariah Martinez commented saying, Whether she's full figured or smaller, I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Her eyes and lips are so pretty. Alright guys, that's all I could find on the places Harry Styles calls home. It's clear the man loves his homeland of England much better than the US. What did you guys think about Harry's homes or his new $10 million mansion in London? Be sure to let me know in the comments or if I missed anything. And tell me some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I'm thinking maybe Shawn Mendes or Chris Brown. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!